to the basket, flips it up. Oh, what a finish! And the third quarter comes to an end. The Knicks down by seven. We'll be right back with more Wednesday night basketball here on ESPN after the break. As we move on to the fourth quarter, the coach has been angry all night. He has just not been happy with what he's seen. No, and he's trying to inspire a greater effort because he knows that a couple baskets in a row gets him back into a working deficit. And he is trying to inspire them not to give in and give up. Stoudemire. It's blocked. Gets it off. That's a two-pointer. Nails it. It's a double-digit lead. Shot from downtown. No good. To Scola. Gets to the rim. Nice soft touch. You're not going to see it much better than that from an offensive finishing point of view against quality NBA defense. Puts it up and lays it in nicely. Good poise, good balance, great finish in the paint against quality defense. Puts it up, gets it to go, long two-pointer. Stoudemire. In the paint, layup won't go. Reaches in with a steal. Takes another shot. Misses. Great luck. Two defenders, and he gets the shot off. He's a great shooter, but he could have driven the ball into the paint and made a play for his teammates. Puts it up. Won't go. I like it. I I'm seeing more effort in the last couple minutes than we saw in the first half. It may not result in a win here tonight, but the effort is something they can build on going forward. It's good. Amari Stoudemire is one for three from the field. Hey, sometimes good offense beats good defense. There's nothing to be ashamed with on that possession. That was a well-defended, well-contested shot. Gets it off. Can't knock it down. to the rim beautiful move down low look you can't give up layups like that you got to protect the basket and the paint at all costs oh he comes up with the steal on the drive flips it up for two what a play sometimes the simplest plays are the hardest ones to execute Good layup. Let's it fly. Can't get it to go. To the rim. Oh, what a brilliant move. That's just a nice layup right there.
critical possession right now. The shot is blocked. And both teams making changes to their lineups right now. Puts it down! What a play! And here's the replay to give us another look. Scoring in the paint is not for the faint of heart. You've got to expect to get hit and hit off. He is, he's not whining and complaining. He is just getting the basket right at the rim. Block! Sweet. I need to see that one again. Here's the replay. You're not winning late in a close game playing that type of defense, allowing the ball to go in a direct line drive right at the basket. Hibbert's working hard. Oh, and he throws it down. turnover tied up has to make that pass and Carmelo Anthony's called for the intentional hey that's good smart basketball you're down in the fourth quarter late and you're not in the penalty get aggressive defensively try to get a steal and even if you pick up a foul you know they're just gonna take the ball out of bounds ball is tipped and they come up with it Inside! Can't get the layup to drop. Attacks the basket and takes it to the rim. Three-pointer knocks it down. It's a two-point game. Had to do it there. They stop the clock with the foul. Is it easy to make both in this situation? No. But is it critical? Yes. It's his job up to a few seconds ago, make both of these free throws to make it a two possession game. This is the second free throw. They still have that three point lead. And Mike Woodson calls timeout. Very little time remaining here in the fourth. Performances from the opening tip just seem to be a step behind, never mounted a comeback as they lose to the Indiana Pacers by a score of 56 to 53. This has been a presentation of ESPN on EA Sports. For Jeff Van Gundy and our entire EA Sports crew, this is Mike Breen saying thanks for watching from Madison Square Garden. Hey everyone. It's Jalen Rose, and it's time for the EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Indiana Pacers.
The Pacers emerged victorious after a tight finish. They did it in a physical way, scoring a majority of their points around the basket. These guys deserve a lot of credit for doing it the hard way. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Indiana Pacers. Frank Vogel spoke with his team while up on the scoreboard, and he's mic'd up for ESPN Wire. Shrink the floor, and when you're on the ball or closing out, close out faster, okay? Take away their airspace and then contain their drive. The New York Knicks. The Knicks are probably frustrated with themselves after such a narrow loss. The effort in the paint was commendable, but it just wasn't enough to seal the deal. Here are the guys who put up the most points for the New York Knicks. Mike Woodson got on his team while down in the second half. ESPN Wired lets us hear his words. It's all about making shots. You got to understand that, but you got to take good shots. You got to make sure we rebound, block out. Game track. Blocks. How could I talk about anything but the blocks? There were so many of them, and not just from one side. Both teams were in on the action, swatting away shots. And here we've got the game stats for you. Player of the game. David West gets the award for the most obvious reason, and that's his scoring output. He couldn't be stopped, and it was incredible to watch. And now, of course, the shot chart. This has been a presentation of ESPN on EA Sports. I'm Jalen Rose. Until we meet again.